Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm painting on chipboard and I've already got my outline drawn on. And if you want the outline, um, I'll put a link in the description below and you can go to my Facebook page and print it off and you can print off the reference photo too. So, um, and all that's free. So I'm starting with just, um, this is just a cheap, flat synthetic brush, a small one. And so I started with my black areas and, and now I'm moving on to the kind of reddish brown. So on my plate, I have, this is acrylic paint. I have black, uh, burnt sienna, raw sienna and white. And, um, so it's a very limited palette. Don't need much paint and it's just acrylic craft paint. So nothing expensive. Um, so I just want to keep my brush strokes really, really loose and I want to keep my brush moving. Um, if you like this loose style of painting, then this is how you accomplish it. You just, um, you don't stay in one spot for too long. You just keep your brush moving. Um, don't put too much thought into it. Just kind of brush it on there. And remember that if you, if you put paint somewhere that you don't want it, you can always paint over it. So, um, don't stress over your brush strokes. Just keep, keep your brush moving and, and keep everything really loose. So, um, I like to start with my darker colors first and then come back with, you know, with the lighter highlights and stuff like that. So, so I did the black and then the, uh, I mixed black and burnt sienna for that reddish color and then I added a little white to it um, for the mouth color. So now with just the burnt sienna, um, I'm putting in some, some highlights. So this is the highlight shade for my, um, for the burnt sienna and black that I put on there. So just on areas where, where I think that the sun might be hitting it the most, I'm going to put this, this shade on. So it's not, it's not where the cow is a different color. It's just highlights for that darker shade. Again, very quick brush strokes. Just keep your brush moving. Keep everything loose. So now with just straight black, I'm going in and darkening some of my deeper areas, more shaded areas. Um, I'll put a link too in the description for this chipboard if you want to to order some. Um, if you're just painting as a hobby, this is the way to go because it's considerably cheaper than canvas boards or panels or or stretched canvas for sure. Um, it ends up being about I think about. 30, 38 cents a board. Um, and then the great thing about it is you can also flip it over when you're finished and paint on the other side because it's the same as the front. So it ends up being about 19 cents a painting. So that's, can't really beat that. So now I'm just going in with my white and again, very loose, quick brush strokes. But I'm keeping the brush strokes going in the direction that the hair goes. So when you look at your reference photo, just make sure that you you, need, you know which way your hair is, is going. Because you've got that little area between the eyes that kind of, I don't know what that is called. It probably has a name, but um, where the hair just kind of sunbursts out. So keep it, keep that in mind with your brush strokes, but keep them very loose and very quick. And as you know, especially white paint, 
acrylic paint, once it dries, it dulls down. So, um, that works out great because it kind of lets some of that background shade come through. And when it does that, it gives you more um, variations in, in shades. And then when it's dry, you can come back and brighten up the parts that really need to be like white, white. Um, but then you end up with all these different shades that you really didn't even have to do anything to get. They just kind of happened. So just use the size brush that you need for whatever area you're working on. Like right here, I'm, I'm putting in the eyelashes. And so I've switched to a, it's still a flat synthetic brush, but it's a smaller one. So guys, if y'all are liking my channel and content, please uh, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, all of this helps helps my channel, helps me keep it going. So now I'm just softening the, the dark areas, the hard lines around, around the nose and mouth with with a mixture of black and the burnt sienna. So I'm just kind of scrubbing this in and softening that area. And then going back to my eyes and focusing on the hair around the top of the eyes. Just wanna get that direction right, the, the direction of the hair. All right, so now I'm drying it so that I can put another coat of white on the brighter areas, the areas that I want to be brighter. Um, so I've got my light coming from the left hand side. So the left side of the cow, I want to be really, really bright. Um, so when it dries, if you need to come back and brighten it two or three times, that's fine. Just, just make it really, really bright but you don't want to get too carried away with it because this is just where the sun is really, really hitting it. Um, if you get too carried away with it, then you kind of lose all your other shading, all your different, different shades of white. So I just want this edge to be really bright and then I added some white to my raw sienna and I'm brightening up some of the highlights on the ears on the part that's not white so guys I hope y'all enjoyed this and maybe give it a try it's a fun little painting and thank you so much for watching God bless you, and I hope to see you next time.